Welcome to Draw at Home with Tupperberry Art. I'm Miss Kimberly, and this is National Women's History Month, and we are going to celebrate that by drawing the notorious RBG. Who is this RBG, you ask? Well, she was the second female Supreme Court justice that is known for fighting for gender equality. That's the equal rights of men and women. She did a lot of other things as well, but I'll tell you more about her as we draw. First thing we're gonna start with is the outer shape of the face. So you're gonna create a little hook. This is the left side of the face. And then that same shape comes again. The chin is like a V and then flip those shapes and let's create the right side of the face. There's that little hook, that rounded hook, which is the cheekbone line and up. Next is the nose. The nose is like the shape of the chin. It's like a, a V. And notice that the nose is placed right in between the cheekbones. Time to add the nostrils. So think of it as a letter C connecting to the top of that V. Flipping that, doing that on the other side, creating two nostrils. Moving to the folds around the mouth. From the edge of the nose, do two little curved lines. Inside will be the mouth. First, I'm gonna start with the top line of the lip. So, think of it as a spread out M. And now, the midline of my lip is gonna take about the same shape, but notice the corners of the mouth come together. The bottom lip comes to down like a V again, close together on the edges, and then dips down wide at the bottom. And watch this funny little line I make right underneath her lip. Line comes down on a diagonal, curve across, and up again. This will give her chin a distinct shape. I got two little indication lines on each side of the chin, and now moving on. Usually when we draw eyes, we start with the circle of the eyeball first and then build from there. I'm gonna go a little bit in reverse. I'm gonna start with the pupil. Two pupils, notice where they're lined up just outside the edge of the nose. And then outside that, I'm going to draw a little bit larger of a circle. So inside, as I color in my pupil, I'm going to leave a little bit of a white space. This is the light reflection. But now I wanna draw the eyelids, but I'm going to have some heavy eyelids that really droop over the eyes. So on the right, I will draw a line up and down. So here's your opposite V, like your little mountain and a little line right underneath the pupil. That's how much of the eyeball we're gonna cut off. Same thing on the left eye, coming up just over top of the pupil like a V as well and a line on the bottom. Two small little indication lines to show the line underneath the eyes, and then you can erase the lines you don't need. You can erase the circles that you had from the eyeballs. And now we can frame our eyes with the glasses. So let's start with the bridge of the glasses. Little curved line in between the eyes right in the middle. Her lenses are kind of rectangular shape, but we need to change that just a little bit. So notice near the bridge of the nose, we're gonna cut that line a little bit and then just curve out the sides a little bit. Giving the frames just a little softer of a shape and then you can double up on those lines so it actually looks like a frame and not just a one single line. Eyebrows, they're very faint, but you can just give some quick little lines behind the frames to indicate that they are there. Now it's time to make some ears that stick out a little bit, but that's probably a good thing because here's a fun fact about RBG. When she was going to law school, her husband got sick with cancer. So she went to all of his classes and took notes for him. So she had to listen at hers and his classes. That's a lot of listening. Plus, she played the cello. Pause for a moment and take a look at how I did the ears. 
Two slightly curved lines create the top of the ear. An S type curve comes to the cheekbones into the face. Add a few little earrings and those are your ears. When she was going to school, there was one girl to every nine boys out of 500 students. So if I were her, I'd want to wear earrings too. And now the hairline. I have a part line which is curved and from there you can see I'm bringing my curved lines out to the edge of her face. Her part is off to the side and she is commonly known for wearing a bun. As you do this, make sure you give her enough of a forehead. We want her face to look elongated. And now to the edges of the V chin, we are going to add a neck. Draw an oval at the end of that, but don't let those lines show that go across behind the neck. Having this skinny neck really shows that she was a thin lady. A couple slanted lines indicate her shoulders and now we're ready for her famous collars. So I have a curved line to match and another parallel line to that. And now you can see I'm going to create a little pattern. Now imagine RBG was the second female superior justice and the first Jewish female. The court robes were made to show off the ties of men, but she decided to wear distinct collars to make a statement. She had a bejeweled collar that looked like armor on days she dissented, which means she held a different opinion to what was common around her. Here's one way of creating a pattern for one of her common collars, but you can create any type of pattern you like. This is the part where you can get creative. Maybe make your own statement. Now that we're wrapping up, I'm just gonna give it one final outline to really help it stand out and then get ready to color it in. RBG said, real change, enduring change happens one step at a time. So if you wanna get better at art, drawing, or creativity, be patient with practicing. Subscribe to my channel and come back and draw with me again. Until next time, bye-bye.